Hello and welcome to the Power Archiver tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll show you another new feature that you can find in Power Archiver 2011. If you ever find yourself uh, looking to compress and archive locked files, for example the Outlook.pst file, um, you'll find that most uh, compression utilities are not comprehensible to archive and compress that uh, locked file. Um, as you'll see here, we'll attempt to uh, compress it here using Power Archiver. Once we do the compress, what we'll find uh, is a one kilobyte uh, zip file, which obviously is not a uh, valid uh, archive and a valid compression of the Outlook.pst file. So we'll go ahead and delete that and uh, go to Power Archiver 2011, go to the configuration menu, the miscellaneous tab, and uh, enable the volume shadow copy support to be used with the PST extension. We'll click OK, go back to our um, Outlook folder and find the PST file again, compress it, the Windows user account control uh, will pop up and ask us for permission to continue so we'll click yes or continue and once we do that Power Archiver will get ready and uh, compress that PST file uh, for you which is locked uh, Power Archiver 2011 is the only uh, compression utility that is able to do that that is able to um, compress and archive locked files meaning that you can now uh, back up your Outlook um, file and your Outlook contacts and emails uh, directly while you're you while you're using Outlook and your files are locked. This goes along with any other databases or any other files that are locked on your system. So we hear uh, we see uh, Power Archiver now compressing that Outlook file which we were not able to compress previously and we'll give it a moment here to uh, completely uh, compress this file. All right, there we go. Uh, now we have a uh, 93 megabyte uh, archive uh, which is our outlook.psc file compressed in a zip file. Uh, again I want to uh, say it, uh, that uh, Power Archiver 2011 is the only uh, compression utility that is able to do that to compress locked files. Uh, we thank you for watching this tutorial. Please uh, take a look at our YouTube channel for more tutorials. Thank you.